And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh boy. It's Monday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm starting early. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's no. Wednesday. We don't live on a regular timeline here at the bonfire. It's all over the place. However, the good news is, even though I got the day wrong, it's Wednesday yeah. and we are live. Yeah. Uh, it's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Dan Soder, Big J Okerson here. If you, um, if you bet me $100, I still couldn't tell you the number to call it. 844-COMEDY-9. No, 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 but the actual numbers. 844-866-2732. Oh, 2663399. All right, Rain Man. Why did you come in? Uh, definitely. Uh, definitely. Definitely. We are, we are off the leash today because... Jacob's at home. High Jacob, holiday. Jacob's at home for the high holiday. Happy New Year to all of our chosen campers. Uh, Jacob is fasting for the holiday, too. Just, yeah, he's going to no, disintegrate. He's just trying to get... I bet he's super cut. Oh, yeah. But if he does it too long, he's going to like Jiminy Cricket with AIDS. <laughs> yeah. um, he's so he's so teensy. He he's has away to from eat. Well, he's not here. <laughs> so I texted in the group text. I wouldn't mind seeing Lou and Jay get hammered on the show today. The cat's away. Cats, Why not? cat's away. It's a high holiday. It's a high holiday. Uh, Lou, you're some part Jewish, right? Uh, no. You used, used to put your dick in one. Oh, so. I mean... I guess that counts because I did celebrate the uh, Seder. Okay. Oh, you, the, if you got a Seder under your belt, why not? You didn't celebrate the Seder. More, you, you were at a Seder for a, a Passover holiday, but okay. Yeah. And Jay, okay. you are Jewish. Technically. Technically. So this yeah. is your high holiday. Yes, but we couldn't get Manischewitz. So no. we're just going to sit here and just rock shots of vodka. <laughs> Now, you know me, Soder. You know my drinking pattern I've, here. I've witnessed it. I used to drink alongside it. But it, you can only drink alongside it for moments because uh, I'm... Unless you're an alcoholic like me. No, no, no. But I mean, it's only moments that you get to drink with me because I'm... Let's rock down. Yeah, you let's do like, ro you let's do rock down four, four shots. And then you have like a Bud Light with you. And then we just mellow it out. But the fun part was, is your four shots that I would do with you would just be a part of my night. Oh, yeah. So that was a part would, of your drinking. Yeah, so then I just keep going. Mm -hmm. I'd go have four shots with someone else. Now, I feel like I handle booze. Now, knock on wood here. This is my famous last words. Yeah. Way better than Lou. What? I think the same four shots we're about to do together is going to put Lou in another place. And I'm so Wait, looking forward to that. So you are going to do all four shots at once. That's how I roll, baby. Lou, are you? did you know you are getting up to that? Or did you think you were going to have cocktails? He knows. Jay? I could do anything. What, what are you already drunk? No, <laughs> it's very... I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I am because I, I know it's coming. He's See, here's the thing about he's very excited. Well, here's the thing about Lou's voice, and you have to know Lou very well to know this. It's kind of, it's already got a drunk tint to it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Lou saying, like I want, I want Lou to read a live read right now. <laughs> okay, and then at the end of the episode, we're going to have him read the same live read. Oh yeah, free advertising. Yeah, it's. I mean, this is one of our live reads, so we might as well get some work done, Lou. Okay. No, but have Lou read it. No, I don't. I say I have. Oh, it you have it in your head there. This I'm, doesn't Jay, count as a live read. Jay, I just want to say I'm sorry for going zero to fifteen on you right now. No, it's no problem. It's no problem. Why you guys you still have, fifteen. You guys still have to read this later on, though. Do we really? Why? Because uh, it has I, to be one of us. Yes, I can't. So. I have no problem with that. Okay. Do you want to give yourself some bed music? Yeah. I do. Oh. Okay, Dish Network wants you to stop paying for channels you don't want to watch. It's time for a skinny bundle that gives you what you actually watch. And not what you didn't. Introducing the new Flex Pack from Dish. I don't think it's going to get better. No, I think you're setting yourself up to do <laughs> awesome later. You start over... Wait. You start with over 50 popular channels. If you don't want more... I'm sorry, if you want more... <laughs> all these yeah. words are in there, by the way. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is how I was at the Seder. I, they made me read in front of all the Jewish people, and I... Uh, Baruch Atah, Adonoy, Alu, wait. No, I'm Hainu, sorry. I'm Mela, so hold up, I'm sorry. Halam? <laughs> I'm going to kill this when I'm drunk. I'm going to be great. I know. You're going to be all smooth and just casual. Stu is going to fucking take yeah. this over. When Stu takes over, your mustache is going to come in? Yeah, let's abandon this. I, or let's do the last... Start with the last two sentences. Just say... Start with taxes, and then read it to the end, and then that's the, that'll be the test at the end. Okay. Requires credit qualification, two-year commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. Dish service for one TV included. 
Taxes and surcharges are extra. Offer ends October 27, 2016. Other restrictions apply. There you yeah. go. There you go. That's solid. So we will check in at 750. We will see where you are, and we'll have you do the same read. So there you go, Dish Network. He's going to be tossed. I mean, I'm going to sing the read. Now, here's my question, just as the someone, me, Andy, Christine, and I will all, are you, am I the only one that's not drinking? I'm not drinking. You're not drinking? So those two are the... This is even better. It's just me and Lou. Uh, and we have the numbers. Sobriety has the numbers. <laughs> so it's just going to be us three watching. This is why I regret being an only child of an alcoholic, because I didn't have a sibling to laugh about them getting drunk with. It was always kind of terrifying. <laughs> You're like... That's scaring me. Uh, no, but you just watch my mom Mr. Get Bonkers? It's like you're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going to... They whipped him into the basement. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm interested. Are you going to only do four shots? Or? I don't know. See where I'm at after four shots. Should we have you do four shots an hour? N- no. Okay. I can't do eight shots. Yes. That'll put me in the ground. You got to do Legion but, of Skanks. I don't want to do that. Yeah. No, if I do four shots out of the gates in, a, in 30, 40 minutes, if I'm feeling like I'm not goofed, I'm a good gauge on myself. I know when I go, oh, no, no, I'm feeling it for sure. Okay. That's I, what me and Christine always argue like, Christine's actually employed me at this point to be her fucking, you know, the napkin over her glass just to be like, you know, it's like, you don't need any more. Yeah. But she has no idea. I always... She has, no, she has no idea that she's going... She goes, I'm not, I could definitely have one more. I think one more and I'm be totally good. And you're like, no, you don't realize the way you're saying that? Yeah, that's how I am. I Nate was the only one that could ever tell I was I drunk. I don't get that. Nate was the only one that could ever tell when I was drunk, and he would always be like, you should stop right now. Because I'd be like, dude, I'm going to do like two more shots and another beer, and then I'm cold. I'm, I'm going to be feeling it. <laughs> he goes, then then I'll be good, and I'll just maintain. I got snowed in in Chicago, and I got blackout drunk on the last night with this comic that I saw for the first time. This was in 2010. This was six years ago. So for the first time two months ago at the stand. Oh, really? And he's like, hey, remember Chicago? And I was like, that was you. I was in Chicago? <laughs> yeah, it was during the blizzard of 2010. I got snowed in, and I was at my cousin's apartment, and they were like, I just went out and got drunk for two days. And I hung out with this comic that Nate, because Nate used to live in Chicago. You stayed at his place? No, I stayed at my cousin's place, and I, I slept past my alarm and almost missed my flight, because I was just out drinking for two days. I just went out drinking, and like my cousin wasn't there. They were like, here's the keys to my place. You can stay here. And I just went out and got hammered. And then I don't. I like was drunk when I met the guy because Nate's like, "Hey, my buddy's got, got a show you can get up at in Chicago." Bargazzi. Yeah, Bargazzi. And so I went. And I met this guy, and I was at a bar, and I was just hammered. And he's like, and I went and did the show, and the set was all right, but I was just drunk the whole time. <laughs> and then I saw him like, do you guys know what this now is like? You guys, men and women are different. Men and women are very different. So different. I'm so sorry. different. I'm sorry. But then it's weird seeing him now, like two months ago, and he's like, what's up, dude? And that's like, I haven't drank for three years. So I was just like, he's all busted up. Hey, damn, I miss you so much. Like, do you remember the speech so, you're you gave sad. me? You do have a re- problem. Do you remember the speech you gave me? You said, go for it. You said, always go for it. You said, when life looks you in the eye, you call life a faggot and have a drink. Yeah, I'm like, I ruined this man's life. I ruined this man's life in a blackout, and I haven't <laughs> seen him I since. I told him to call life a faggot? Like that seems like something I wouldn't say. You today. said, go get three small business loans, have the compounded interest, and then open up. A vape store. I'm like, that's actually good advice, though. You should have done that. That was solid. I was ahead of the curve on that one. That one I was beating the rest of the world, too. <laughs> you, should, you could have made a pretty penny had you done that. <laughs> vape stores are pretty popular. Though. You saw me. Um, entertainment loves post-op transgenders. And you, because of you, I, I now have a pussy. <laughs> I have the sweetest, tightest pussy. You, don't, you gotta feel. You gotta feel. Every day, they start doing that turn. Every day, Dan, now I live with a fake pussy because so, of you. I hope you're happy with yourself. You're not going to, you guys aren't going to get, uh, Lou, are you going to get sad drunk on here? I'm going to pass out on this fucking dashboard. Please don't. I don't know what happens. I, I don't, I'm different every time. You're different every time you get drunk, you're different. If, That's not true. You ch- know who you are when you're drunk. I hope he slaps Christine and kisses Mark face. <laughs> Where he goes, stop looking at me, witch eyes. Get over here, cowardly lion. <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much, Mark face. By the way, Lou goes both ways. Hey, Mark face, I'm just burn your ear. Do you know for a limited time you can order a skinny bundle from Dish where you just watch the channels you want? Perfect read. <laughs> Kisses him on the ear. Perfect read that time. Nibble on your ear. Um, 
We're going to start drinking soon, but I do want to find out about this. Um, Kevin in Florida asks if we heard Feldman on Rude Jude earlier this week. Was it actually actually the Feld dog went on? Kevin, you in Florida. You're on the bonfire. Murkface, Merc- you drunk already? No. Murkface is huffing paint. No, it was the angel. Was okay, the- but this, but Kevin in Florida is saying... Go. There we go. Yo, it's Kev. It's Kev. Oh, sorry, Kev. What's up, oh, dog? I apologize, Kevin. I am so sorry. No. It's Kev. You guys are good. You guys are good. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, dude. Uh, I was saying it wasn't Feldman on uh, the show with Brew Jude. It was one of his fallen angels, uh, the one who leaked the voice memo. Yeah. Um, Jude had her on there. Uh, it's worth checking out if you haven't heard it because you definitely get some inside juice. Uh, example number one, Fell Dog doesn't ever eat much. Oh. Uh, much no, but he he apparently lives off uh, off air or something like that. Oxygen tanks? Say, something like that. He said he would pay for uh, all of her meals, but he never eats any. And when, he, when he, Jude asked about the one meal that she said she got, and he said that was something like, um, if she said it was like a, uh, a bag salad on a plate or something like Weird. that. It's dried, oh. it's dried Corey Haim skin. He's like, I eat it. It's, it's like, Haim jerky. <laughs> I love it. This one tastes like exactly. Santa Fe. It feels so close to him. Thanks, Kevin. We're going to check that out right now. We're going to put Christine on it since right, Lou yeah. Dog is about to get fucking hammered. Uh, I would um, I would like to be... Corey Feldman's personal chef is probably just like, uh, do you want me to go home again today? He's like, Thanks. I don't know. Put some Alpo in the dish for the angels. <laughs> and you can go. They get wet dog food. Today. Give them one. Give them one Brussels sprout. Let them break it off into different shreds. I want them to fight it like a car, like in cartoons when they used to show poor. Want to see him batting around like kittens? Um, do you have it, Christine? No, By the way, he is going back tomorrow. To the best of my knowledge, October thirteenth, yeah. his call that he is going to be going back on the Today Show to do. Uh, of encore performance. Well, we will talk about that next Wednesday. When next Wednesday we'll be doing that because we recorded a new but not live for you guys for Monday. That was uh, a lot of fun with Mikey Finoy joining us. You can enjoy that on Monday, um, but Wednesday we're going to go live to talk about this fell dog thing because it's going to be. Should you guys? The second performance is going to be before we get to this. Christine, maybe you should find the audio first of like what we think she found it. But but before we do that, you're saying we should get these drinks going. Yeah, it's already 7.15. I agree with you. So what we'll do here is, while we do that, this is perfect. Steve from Indiana just has a wrestling question he wants to talk to you about, Soder. Did you guys start pouring your drinks? Yes. All right. What's up, Steve? Oh, actually, it's Jesse from oh, Indiana. God, what the fuck you, is wrong with you, Mark Face? Face. You are a fucking they, moron. Uh, Jesse, I apologize. <laughs> and you know what, Andy, I apologize, because I went 0 to 20 on you right there. You know what, Lou? I hope you smack Merc Face and make out with Christine. (laughs) Yeah. Jesse, now that we know your real name, your true identity. Your gov. Your gov. Your government. What was your uh, your wrestling question? Well, I was uh, wondering, uh, did you see Nancy Grace on Sam Roberts and Jim Norton? I saw him tweeting about it. I didn't listen to it. Did she leave early? Yeah, she walked out right until the interview. <laughs> yeah, good. That's yeah. awesome. And the whole time, the whole time I hear her talking, I hear you doing your impression of her, and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, she's a. Uh, did, was she on? Uh, did she walk because of the questions they were asking her? Yeah, they were saying that Jim Norton and Sam were attacking her, and Sam was defending all the wrestlers, and it was hilarious because. Oh, was, I didn't. I got a fucking. I'm going to listen to that tonight. Yeah, she's like, you don't talk to most of the wrestlers. I'm like. Does she know who she's talking to? Yeah, she doesn't know shit. It's prime time. <laughs> oh, hold on. Lou's getting... F- Sorry, Jesse. Yeah, Lou's just getting very excited bartending in the studio. I'm buying time. Hey, how about the Raven and his guys? Hey, you shut up. <laughs> Don't make fun of Raven. That guy worked in multiple promotions, and he is a fucking good worker. Uh, no, I'm going to go back and listen to Nancy Grace interview, because, yeah, I, I don't really think she's a, a good person, so... I, uh, and, I hope, and I hope Jay gets sloshed for uh, Legion of Skank tonight. That would be awesome. Well, that's what I'm trying to set up. I'm trying to oh, sabotage yeah. Louis J. Gopez. Yeah, absolutely. This is, the, this is how you start a radio war. And you get one of his Lewis, highest generals. Oh, and Louis, <laughs> Louis is getting in late tonight, so it's going to be me running the show solo wait, with Dave, I guess. But like, You're uh, going to be like a dictator. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be like, shut up, I'll say it, I'll say it. Wear mirrored sunglasses. I'll say it. Yeah, just show up like was hammered like Morris into a gig. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like too up to glasses. I don't know if I'm going on tonight, guys. Jesse, thanks for calling in. I'll definitely check that out. Thank you, man. 
Crackle, crackle. See crackle. you guys. See you guys. Wait, Jesse, what about Kamala? No, I'm yeah. trying to excuse Hey, he lost, both <laughs> his, he lost both of his legs to diabetes. Is this so. me here? Yes. This is shot one? Yes. Yeah, small on right. the start. Did you chill? Did you chill he it? He chilled. Shook it up. Okay, Lou. Dude, Lou, you are, you know what? Lou's bar anywhere kind of. Here's the prison. <laughs> you guys, there you go. First shot down. Oh, yeah. Number two, baby cakes. You I want, just do them. You just do them right in a row. Four in a row. Oh, my God. That was a lot. It tastes go, so bad. Straight four in a row, then we're going to listen to Fell Dog. You're gonna take yes. His, you're going to take his side now. Yeah. He's right, you know. Leave Leave Corey alone! Let him sing his songs! There's a, the Four shots in a row is just impressive because it's high school house party drinking. Woo! It's like, let's do the shots in the car, and then let's walk right into the party, walk right by his parents, just say you're going to the basement. It's like a freshman year high school party. No, no, Dad, I'm good. I just, can I, can I use the keys real quick? Oh, man, I smoked weed one time with uh, my buddy Dane in the backyard of my friend Adam's house. That The Adam I talked about last week, they got all they got laid all the time. Dane and Adam? His name is Dane Bowserman. How oh, great of a fuck. name is that? Hey, Lou. To Dane Bowserman. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, he's a good dude. <laughs> so, uh, but we smoked weed and my fr- Oh, the second one got That was Lou. a big shot. The second one put Lou on his heels. That was a double shot. Oh. <laughs> so that, does that count as two or does that count as three? That counts as two. Oh, shit, Lou. Then one of these has to be kind of smaller. Uh, Andy, you ready to co host? <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like, Lou, you might get the gags where you're trying to keep it down. Fuck you, Merc face. You're not even a real mercenary. You're not even a mercenary with your fucking attitude. You want to drink now. Well, no, you don't. I have too much shit to do after this show. You also have to stay on this side with me. I don't know. go to the upside down. No, I won't. Christine's already itching. You see her scratching her neck? She's just, <laughs> <laughs> she, just starts, she starts chewing on a deodorant bottle, a bar. <laughs> She's like, it's got booze in it. I gotta get something in me. Hey, hey, does anyone have any nail polish from Does have any witch hazel? I'm ready to drink some witch hazel. <laughs> There's already a significant dent in this bottle. Get a one. I thought we were doing a lot more than that. Are you disappointed in yourself, Jay? <laughs> well, the next one will make it big again. Is it a, are you guys doing another double? No, this is a single. Here, boom. Oh, this, by the way, at the bonfire, SXM on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You can actually see Jay and Lou doing their four shots in a row because Jacob's not in the office. <laughs> One more. Decided. One more, and then you guys can just hang out. Fuck Jacob. Hey, he's a good man, and he works hard is for he? this show. But is he, though? He's a good man. I'll Have you really him. taken the time to find out? Jacob's a great guy. I actually hung out with Jacob. Jacob came out and hung out with me for a whole night well, last weekend. Really? Mm-hmm. He's never done that for me. Came yeah. to the stands. Pretty cool. Went over to the VU with me, and then over to the cellar. Yeah. Oh! And fucking bumped into... This was so fucking hilarious. When we're walking over to the... Uh, the was it already poured? No. Oh, okay. Well, as we walk <laughs> over to the... You know, I'm going to take the shot and then tell the story. Yeah. It's a great one. It's Christine story. knows what I'm talking about, right? I just... Lou's, Lou's ability to bartend in a place that's not supposed to be a bartender is very important. By the way, Lou's There's already... This skills. is a small one again. <laughs> Lou's going to be the bartender of the apocalypse, where he's going to be like, you're going to find a cabin, and he's going to be like, sit down, let me have you. It's like this Lou is a real baby one. I know how to make mash whiskey. Right. You want a bigger one? This is a baby one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. It's already getting ornery. Oh, dude, by 8 p.m., this is going to be a problem. That's huge. <laughs> That's too much. You can get a little. You can afford to get a little fucked up more than me. Lou's gonna start broadcasting the golf show. Halfway through. <laughs> this is hammered. Guys, let's just. All right, Lou. Here it is. Guys, this let's is, go this off. This is round road. one. We'll see where this takes us. I mean, I hope it takes you. See you in jail. Round I, one. Yeah, I don't like that sound either. I'm like round one. No, that's all the rounds. You're doing reps. We see where this goes. Okay. How you doing, Lou? And then maybe at 7 p.m. we're like, oh, I'm one more shot because I'm good. Ready right. to broadcast. Let's see where it takes Lou. I know it's going to work good on Lou. I'm hit or miss sometimes, man. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't whack me like that. Are you guys going to, you're definitely going to go smoke a cigarette during the long break. Ooh. <laughs> Lou, is it possible? You know what's so funny? It's just as a former drinker who used to smoke, I know exactly where. Who's to say we can't start, smoke in studio? Uh, a lot of people. <laughs> Mostly everybody at Sirius. In my 14 years here, only two people have smoked in studio. Dave in my presence. Slash from Guns N' Roses. Okay. And Dennis Leary. Oh! And Keith Richards. And, uh, and Keith Richards. 
And fucking in uh, Stern Studio, he's definitely let people smoke in there before. Chappelle smokes everywhere he goes. Already smoked. Pull a in dice. There. Uh huh. Pull a dice. Just do it until they tell us not to. <laughs> oh God! I totally smoke a cigarette here. I'm not gonna do it to you. How bad do you want it? I, I won't. When I used to get hammered at K Rock, I'd smoke cigarettes on New Year's Eve. I get ha- I would do the overnight shift, and I would bring a bag of booze from Stand Up New York, mm-hmm. and I would smoke cigarettes in the old Howard Studio. Really, it was pretty awesome. Oh. It was actually really awesome. And then I smoked a joint in the stairwell, and then I got too high and I was drunk, and I was worried that like business people were there <laughs> so I just, it really fucked me up it really fucked me up i think that was 07 going into 08 me and lou want to smoke a butt so bad now you knows how um, i just said that i just sprung that trap for you guys what a dick hole yeah because i know but by the way when you guys our first get, break's gonna be 33 minutes no way when you guys go downstairs at, at the end of the hour mm-hmm. you really enjoy it uh-huh. you just can only smoke one then you got to get back up we, we can do it we can do it <laughs> yep we're gonna have to do it Yep. Well, here's the thing. We What's the music we're doing today? Oh, yeah, if you remember. Oh, yeah. Go Pack Joe. Good call, Phil. You're right about that. Prepare the say? bucket. Last time I did heavy drinking on a show, that is the oh, picture yeah, of Oh, yeah, wa- but that was wine. That was wine, and I also drank two pints of wine back-to-back really, like, it was bad. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like there were some rumblings. No, that's literally me pounding Diet Pepsi to do it. Um, Yeah. Now. Um, the, well, the other night when Jacob was with us. Yeah, so Jacob came and hung out with you. We walk around the corner. Yeah. And these two girls uh, stop me and they go, they go, hey, Jay. And I guess tell, it makes I feel like I know them. I'm like, oh, I know these girls. Yeah. Who are these girls? I'm like, and the girl goes, hey, you don't remember us? And I'm like, what do I know? She goes, double BJ. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's fucking crazy. I mean, from forever years ago 15 years ago what i mean yeah without exaggeration like these girls uh came to a show and afterwards they're like have you ever had your dick sucked by two girls and i was like no and they were like oh like you have to let us do it to you i'm like i have okay fine yeah. sure and uh it happened it was pretty great and so I walk by, and I'm there. We're, so we're, you you bumped into them with Jacob, yes, on the street, yes. Just happened to bump into the two girls, same two girls, both girls, the two girls, the two girls that double fifteen years later hanging out together still. They go. We always search the streets every night. This night every year we get together. We search the streets for you. <laughs> we always look for you. I figured maybe you'd be in this part of town. Jacob probably is coming unglued. So yeah. Well, what's funny is no. Jacob and them aren't right there i call jacob and christine over and i go uh christine i go do you remember all the story i go i go double bj's ever in a time she goes are you guys the cousins because they're cousins <gasps> you had co- and they were is like, that, is and they that were like, incestual or they is were, that oh, i mean that's, that's their cool. problem that is the, that's a their problem what does it right. do with me yeah no you're absolutely right about that but i'm just asking overall in general yeah if Christine bangs a father's son, that's the father's son's problem. <laughs> Christine's just being an open-minded woman with multiple inputs. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I caught, and they were very freaked out by that because they didn't understand that Christine's the person that would is not like going to be like, oh great, no, I got him. She's just kind of like, oh, the cousins. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. He really is like an old high school friend. <laughs> Are you the two cousins that sucked his dick after the comedy show? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And they're like, well, good to meet you. I'm Christine. I'm Jay's girlfriend. We live together and have heard the story so many times. She's heard the story so many times. And it is, uh, and yeah. Jacob was like, I imagine he was rubbing his eyes the way a little kid does on Christmas morning. He goes, yeah. You can have two at once. <laughs> no, he really did give like a, oh man, that's crazy. That's so crazy that they, they're cousins and they do that. Oh, Lou's got the giggles. It's hitting them. Hello. Are you feeling it, Lou? Yeah. It's certainly. Can I tell you this? Your producing has not faltered at all. Well, it's what I love, Dan. It's well, by the memory. way, this is just he has nothing, nothing to do with the double cousin blowjob. He just wants us to know that he thinks we're all family. That's why he's playing this. He says, guys, you guys are my family. Oh, yeah. He wasn't listening to the story. He goes, you guys are what just... song would really let him know I love him? I, love I heard the word so cousins, so I went with family. No, you nailed it. <laughs> all right. We're just yeah, saying, we're just saying drunk loops. Is, <laughs> we're just, I just want to let him know they're my family. Drunk Lou doubts himself. We're just busting your chops. No. Oh, we're going to get to some psychological depths. With Lou <laughs> I, I think we're going to find out who the real Lou Whitsky oh, is. Oh, we're going deep in the gully. Yeah. I can go zero to 25. Oh, don't. Yeah, that's just how I warm up. You saw what I snapped on Andy. 
Now, yeah, how crazy is that? They just bumped into me. That is crazy. That's it. I mean, those and they're co- well, they're cousins, so that makes it more likely that they're together. But it is random that they ran into you. And then we were like, uh, we're like, come, come home, come hang out with us. And then the one was like, I gotta wake up early tomorrow. And then, you want to be like, so do you guys? Still- but the other one, the other one was definitely like, we'll go right now. <laughs> and then the other one was like, I don't know. Was she? The, do you remember if she was the lead into the double blowjob? Was that the one that was like, we'll go? Was it the same one? No, they were double. Like, they were a team in that one the whole way. You got a double mint gum blow job. Yeah. The one looked uncomfortable with the whole encounter. And the one was like, no, she no, she wasn't. Because she's the one that called me over and said we're the double blow job girls. Oh, okay. So she wasn't comfortable. She was just, like, hammered already. She was drunk. That's what it was. And the drunk one was kind of like, oh, oh, I can't really. Which I'm like, that's fine. Nobody wants a one... Uh, a one third hammered beige. <laughs> Wait, that she's one third. Well, yeah, you have to throw Christine in the mix now. Are oh, you saying a th- you're gonna get a th- triple blowjob? Yeah, yeah. Those girls each get a ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tri- Christine's the, the beef. It's the tripod. It's the tripod beige. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, a, yeah, those girls. Such are the, an honor. Those girls are the ball, and Christine's the paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it'd be like uh, puppies on a mother's teat. Yeah. Do you make them make num, puppy num, noises? Num, 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 num. I want them all to make num num noises on it. Num 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 num. num, num, num eat num, my num, children. Num eat. num. Eat. 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 <laughs> all of you. Eat. Eat. Lou, eat you got some, you got a good smile going on over there, buddy. You feeling good? Right? <laughs> you feeling all right? Lou, you won't take a swig out of the bottle, you pussy. What are you doing, Jay? We still need him to produce the show. I'm gonna fly. The- I'm just saying. Uh, you said you got to fly. I got to turn my microphone on. Uh, I got to fly the ship. I, I don't. I right, give it to me. Oh, oh Jesus! Well, you're gonna do it for real. Good. Nice just a little sip, right? Nice flip. I, I was more joking, but please go. That was a good flip flop, though. He's like, no, I got responsibility. Give me it. Why is it not in my hand? Oh, that's too much. That was a little sip. That was a fucking chugger. Yeah. Could, well, you're, are you a sad detective on a mattress <laughs> <laughs> on the floor? My goddamn wife left me. I can't help if the chicken's overcooked. <laughs> Yesterday would have huh? been Jessica's ninth birthday. I'm not going to match that yet. Yeah, you got I'm it. I'm going to see where it goes. No, you got it. Well, I mean, Lou just did it. Why can't you do it? Because I have other things I have to do tonight. Yeah. Um, so does Lou. He's a different, he's he's a different got a, stage of... Uh, drinker than I am. Lou's got to go outside of his ex-girlfriend's window and yell at her on Yom Kippur. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's got to be home. Mm-hmm. Hi, holiday, you black hog whore. And last time I checked, it's not the real New Year. Oh, I hope you dipped your hollow bread in some honey, you selfish bitch. Happy Kwanzaa, slut. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Who's up there with you? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one of them? Oh, no, Beckham. <laughs> Give me an autograph. <laughs> Since yelling, just insane. Who's up there? Mookie Wilson. So, you so much. Tell you, old old uh, Mets. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> tell Strawberry that he's maybe sad <laughs> at 87. Which one of them's up there with you? Is it Doc Gooden? Keith Hernandez. I know he's not black, but he's an ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take that. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Mookie Wilson's the best one. Yeah, Mookie Wilson's the best one. What do you think of this sucking off Mookie Wilson? <laughs> I gave you the best kiss of my life. <laughs> drunk drunk Lou outside of his girlfriend's house on Yom Kippur. <laughs> Oh, fuck. We should, we should take a break. we got to take our first break. All right. And then we'll come back and we got to listen to this. Uh, Lou, we have how many live reads? We have 20. So each break. Sarah McPants says the double kiss cousins is an Alabama double header. Love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. <laughs> the double blood kiss cousins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why the giggles are going around the studio, but I like it. It's a it. fun show. Oh, man. I get alcoholism. Uh, I bet Lou is already thinking about what he's going to text her right now. <laughs> Like, Think about what I'm going to text you later, how much I love you. Oh, yeah. I love you so much. Well, you know, in a half hour, we get to go have our ceremonious cigarette. Yeah. We'll be right yeah. back, everybody. It's the bonfire. <laughs> Dish wants you to stop paying for channels you don't watch. It's time for a skinny bundle that gives you what you actually watch and not what you don't. Introducing the new Flex Pack from Dish. You start with over 50 popular channels. If you want more, you can add a channel pack. It's like locals, varieties, kids, and news. 
Dish says if you don't watch, then don't pay. Call 1-844-CALL-DISH today or visit dish.com to sign up. The new Flex Pack from Dish. It's over 50 popular channels for just $39.99 a month with your first channel pack included. Add more channel packs like Locals, Variety, Kids, News, and more for $10 a month each. Call 1-844-CALL-DISH or visit dish.com to sign up today. Requires a credit qualification to your commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. Dish service for one TV included. Taxes and surcharges are extra. Offer ends October 27th, 2016. Other restrictions apply. Damn it, you have really sexy voice. Hey, it's Ari Shapiro. You're listening to The Bonfire with Big J's stupid fucking haircut and Dan Soder. Hey, everyone. Oh, that hurt. You know, you lay that on me, and then I gotta do a live read. I uh, oof. how much do you value a good night's sleep? As much as I value friendship, like my friendship with Ari Shafir, that's just shaky, I guess, right now. I know I do, but if you aren't getting your best sleep night after night, it might be time for a new mattress. Before you do anything, go to a Sleep Number store and experience the adjustable comfort of a Sleep Number bed. Lou is off the rails. <laughs> It's available. He's putting in their eye drops like he's smoked pot. It's available right now for a price you can't afford to miss. My seat number setting, still holding strong at 75 right now. A great night's sleep on a bed perfect for couples as it adjusts on each side. Christine, what are you at now? 75. You're we're, we're neck and neck right now? Mm -hmm. Cool. Only sleep number beds are available with Sleep IQ technology, so I know what to adjust for for my best night's sleep. In fact, according to Sleep IQ research, People who adjust their sleep number settings are 58% more likely to have improved sleep quality. That's why I love about Sleep IQ. It gives me the facts on how I'm sleeping so I can sleep better over time. My sleep number setting again, 75. Come on in now during the Columbus Day sales event and save $400 on the C4 mattress, the lowest price ever. You'll only find Sleep Number at any one of the 500 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Find one near you by going to sleepnumber.com and be sure and tell them Jay and Dan of the Bonfire sent you. Hey, it's Ari Shapiro. You're listening to the Bonfire with Big J's stupid fucking haircut and Dan Soder. There was no reason to replay that. That's rat, dude. <laughs> oh, we got some stray hair metal going today on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series X, seven ninety five. I'm Dan Soda. That's Big J Okerson. Yeah, so uh, we're doing yeah, all hair metal, Just oh, air guitar now. Oh, uh, Jacob is gone. So I'm five in. You're five in. You took one during the commercial break. People don't realize Lou is five in. He is all smiles at this point. You couldn't tell from that live read. You could tell by the doubling up of Ari Shafir shitting on my haircut. You did take that pretty rough. Well, yeah, because he played it, and then I had to do another live read, and then he played it again. And then Lou is giggling just like he... Yeah, Lou's <laughs> torch. Yeah. Which I love. That was hilarious when I played it twice. <laughs> you really liked that, didn't you, Lou? I like him calling out what was like, That was really great. He's Chris that Farley that. showing it. I'm going to hate myself tomorrow, but it is funny right now. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, we it's, still about, love it. it's all about having fun, dude. Yeah, don't get the scary Thursdays. I feel like we just did a thing where I was drinking water only. I am nowhere near where Lou. I wish I was. It looks so fun. Well, because uh, you need me to bartend for you. You were using ice uh, juice instead of real vodka. Oh. No, 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 no. I drank. I drank all the water out of it and then poured it. Still, you got to use. Uh, that's called veteran ice. What? I think Lou's calling you out, dude. No, I used the one that was over here. It wasn't used. Lou, yet. can you cook him up a shot right now? Yes. Lou, cook up a shot. No, Lou. You have to use still. the old ice because it's holding the, the alcohol from the old alcohol in there. I don't think that's how it works. It's called veteran ice. But I'm pretty sure if you pour fluid into ice, I'm pretty I drink sure the Lou fluid. Will, I'm pretty sure Lou will punch you in the neck if you keep disagreeing. <laughs> I don't know What's why. What's up, uh, motherfucker? I, I, you don't want to take my word for it? I, I don't know he, why, but I'm pretty adamant about my point. I think uh, I think Lou's making some eyes at you. Like, you better take his word for I it. I think your point... I'm not arguing... Listen, fine. Veteran ice. I believe that's a thing. Yeah, All I'm that's, saying is... That's any veteran side project. I'm saying is that I... I poured Kettle One into ice and then drank every bit of fluid out of the cup. That's okay, Lou's but, just but you questioning your manhood. Put a, you should have poured it into the old ice instead of new watery ice. Uh, no, but I drank the water first. No, but Jay, he's saying you had water wings. 
Would you want me to set it up, make it nice for you? No, not yet. <laughs> Please. Well, relax. Right. After our half show cigarette. Uh, oof. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oof. Uh, well, that was nice Chick fil A all over it. Uh, I had my funny? first Chick fil A today. You did? I that, really enjoyed you it. You say the alcohol's not hitting you, but that, that the joy in that set. Actually, no, no you No, I know happy. that because I just burped and yeah. I was like, oh, Chick fil A. But You've that never, was, how have you never had Chick fil A? I just didn't. I, Here's the thing. When I'm thinking fast food, it's rarely ever chicken sandwich. Now, not even go, at Wendy's, the spicy chicken. Yes, but that's always like the other sandwich. I'm a fat so so you know I've always like historically done like a two so I'll get like you know the spicy chicken sandwich meal, but I'm also getting like you know I'll get like the little double cheeseburger or something. Yeah. With it also. Hold on. What McDonald's? Like, but Lou, what are you playing? <laughs> it really chicken dance. Movie. The chicken dance, motherfucker. Oh, oh that's fair. Okay. It's fair. I just heard it in the background. I was like, what? I'm okay with it I'm now. sorry I yelled. It's all right. <laughs> You're pulling adorable. everyone in. He's yeah. so adorable. Uh -huh. so, um, but, so, I, but when I go to Burger King, chicken sandwich there is one of my favorite things in the world. classic chicken sandwich. Although that said, and I'm, I still love it, the quality of what I had at that Chick-fil-A today buries what that Burger King chicken sandwich is. Best fast food chicken sandwich. You realize now that that how fake chicken-y kind of gross that Burger King sandwich is. Unless they ever become a sponsor, then it's fantastic again. Then, then Jay's the king. I love the taste of it. But uh, you know what I'm saying? No, I've but always it, loved but I'm saying sandwich. it's just a, it's a long chicken. It's a long chicken nugget. Where I felt today that like I was eating like fucking chick. It was so good, fresh farmed, and there was no uh, grill, like, no grizzly parts or anything. Now Chick Fil A sandwiches. Here's the thing: is they got me one deluxe, and that kind of upset me because I like just the chicken, the pickle, and the buttered bread. Is that what it is? It's buttered bread? I think so. I don't know. Someone will probably be able to answer yeah, that. Yeah, it is. It was really I good. I just go in and get my nuggets and my sandwich and go, but it was kind of uh, interesting to watch you eat it for the first time and really appreciate it. Come on. Before we even listen to this fallen angel thing here, Jan in Studio City, California has something that I really I hope is true. Uh, yeah, well, it's Jen. Hey. Hey, Jen. Hey, I love you guys so much. I listen to you every week. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Um, so it says here you went to a party and the fell dog and the angels were there? Yeah. Yeah, it was really awkward. Um, it was a party with a bunch of random celebrities there. You know, it, it's one of those parties even Ron Jeremy shows up. It's, I just uh, saw Ron Jeremy a few weekends ago. He came to the Oddball in, in, uh, in Irvine. Weird. I did karaoke with him one time. Really? Did you fuck him for the story? Ooh, no. You wouldn't do it. I've heard a lot of hot chicks... He just fucks randomly, like in bathrooms at places and dressing rooms of, of places he goes to because they're just like, for the story, you're like, he's the guy. Christine, you said you would never or you said you might for the story if you were in a position? I might. I think you said I might. You're not drunk. You said I might, not in the microphone. And then, and then that noise, that noise, by the way, if we could ever go back, was her head clunking into the microphone. She goes, I might. She goes, I might. She's dry, she's dry drunk. She just clunked her head into the microphone. She goes, I guess. And not talking to it. Are you there? Are you there, Washington? You think you might for the story? It'd be a hell of a story. The guy's got a nine, a twelve inch piece, but I heard his. I heard he like smells bad and shit like that before hey. from people. I've heard that. Hey. I he's listen. such a pig. It's like hey. Hey, it he's a person. Yeah, the hedgehog. Yeah. But you got to bang like a fat, sweaty, kind of greasy haired dude to okay. get your story. She's like, yeah, <laughs> same old, same old. Cool. Uh, welcome back to twenty one to twenty four. What's next? <laughs> Jen, so you said that Ron Jeremy was there, and where was this party? Uh, it was in the Hollywood Hills. Um, okay. Another lesser-known celebrity was throwing a party. Can you give us who that? Was, can you give us the name of that celebrity? Uh, his name is George Gray. He's the announcer on The Price Is Right. Oh, wow, what a out? weird. <laughs> Yeah. That is a weird one. She's like, Vanna White was there. It's all the number twos of game shows. <laughs> <laughs> I only hang out with the second most important Richard people. Richard Dawson's game. Bones. <laughs> Louie Anderson. Welcome to my party. How did you get invited to this, Jen? What's your affiliation? Uh, well, a few years ago, I used to date George. So we oh. uh, stayed friends, and I go to his parties every now and again. That's very cool. And, and where... And now he's the announcer for The Price is Right. How does he get in the mix with all these other celebrities? How's the word spread about his party? Yeah, how does he impress the celebrities? Does he go, shut your eyes? I mean, there's plenty. Here's the thing. In Hollywood, and from talking to people, there's plenty of, like, producery-type people you've never heard of in your life that have parties that have a zillion people there because... 
people know, the celebrities know them yeah. from behind the scenes. But it seems like the announcer for The Price is Right, if that's his big claim, the fame... It's weird that any gives, all these celebrities show like how does he know? If you Corey go to his party, Corey? if he goes, if you go to his party, he gives you the wheel spinning technique. <laughs> He's like, "Here's the deal, just kind of spin it." <laughs> he goes, "Come on down." How old is he? Uh, he's in his mid forties. No, Mark Face says no. He's doing fact checking. I what got him in say? late forties, Jen. Oh, okay. We really? All right. Mark you said that like you were, you said like you're going to fucking bury her with like a 65 thing or something. <laughs> yeah, you really leaned into that one. But he's well, also a graduate of the University of Arizona, didn't he? <laughs> oh, oh. Bear, bear down, Wildcat. That place really takes a guy who's good with voice. Hey, you know that's their that's their curriculum. So, they how old are you, Jen? Uh, I'm going to be 31 November. Oh. I'm going to be 31 November. Oh. oh, this guy must be handsome as shit. He must be really handsome. Bring a picture of him, Christine. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. That's classically handsome. Classically handsome. Good teeth. Yeah. He's got game show announcer thing about him. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he's like super into coke and knows a bunch of celebrities. I get it. I get it now. Yeah. Okay, Jen, so you're at the party. Yeah, um, I was about to leave, and someone pulled me aside and said, holy crap. Bell Dog is going to be coming with a couple angels. Now, did they say, now, Jen, and be honest, did did they say Corey Feldman and some of his yeah, girlfriends? Yeah, they, they said Corey Feldman. I, I hear you guys talk about him all the time. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Feldog, the hamster. No, I mean, I appreciate you speaking our common tongue to us. <laughs> I, that's our that's proper bonfire dialect. But uh, I didn't know if you at the party were like, Fell Dog and the Angels? And they're like, who the fuck are you, Jen? <laughs> who the fuck is Fell Dog? <laughs> Jen's like, um, I'm super into it. They said Corey Feldman. Now, are they coming to... I believe there's a chance of they be coming to perform or just to be there. Just to be there. Okay, okay. God, I was really thinking that this is false, but just the calmness. In I Jen's believe her. No, voice. no, no. I absolutely believe her. Yeah, this is not that crazy of a story. Fell dog and the angels show up at a party. Sure. How many angels were with them? Two. Right. And they they were so very bored. They were checking their phones. They wanted to leave so badly. The whole but, time. Uh, did you yeah. get a vibe? Now you say it was awkward. Did you get a vibe off them that it is like some kind of weird, like polygamy type relationship? Yeah, they they hardly spoke to Corey. Corey would order them around, really? and they were just really quiet the whole time. And it was just really awkward. He was trying to get everybody to watch him on the Today Show. Oh and- Jesus, it's gonna be great. Yeah. By the way, well, I'll tell you where he's gonna really that's tomorrow. Really, really fuck up. First of all, there's a picture we have up somewhere from Corey Feldman dressed as Jesus with the angels all around them. Except one's got a black halo. The rest have white. She Why do you think a, that is? Because she went to a different party city. She takes it in the shitter. Okay, or well, there's that. That's what I was gonna go with. She's um, what? The hottest one. She's pretty hot. They're all pretty girls. Actually, that one on the right's kind of a goofy mess. I like it. Yeah, no, I would do it in a heartbeat. I'm <laughs> By just the saying. Way, you just, Jay, you just missed it. Lou just staring at the screen and he just goes, I would too. I'll, just so I'll take a bite out of all the things. <laughs> By the way, the one... It's called the, Angel Cake because I'll one, eat all of them. The one directly above him to the right looks like the lead singer of Slayer. And I'm not yeah. kidding by that. Or the guitar player from Twisted Sister. I'm de- uh, yes, I know which one you're talking about. All the way to the right, the bottom right? Mm-hmm. She's well, whatever, too. Hey, you shut up. She's a square head. Then there's another sure. one's got a fucking huge forehead. The Stop other one's it. plain Jay. You know what? Jay, you're so critical when you're drunk. If these are angels, I'll take hell. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not cool, bro. Well, listen. The thing is, you've got to get girls. These girls are all super hot to be someone who's going to be subservient to a star from the 80s. So that's pretty impressive. Whatever. I called the goofy one. Now, they... He orders them around. That's fucking hilarious. He's not taller than any of them. <laughs> One of the angels died. Look at these pictures. They're crazy. Yeah, we never looked at these before. That's great. It's just a hospital picture, and Jay goes, One of the angels died. <laughs> now she's a real angel. When angels deserve to die. He's like, They never do. I just take them back to the bus stop and roll them out of a car. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking them out of the Honda. The they bus have a stop. needle hanging out of their chest. <laughs> I leave kick no, them in front of an emergency room door. I, I leave no, whoa, who's that one? No, look, My eyes are so bad, but the one with the chest. The one all the way on the left of this picture is literally asking her father to come pick her up. She's like, please, daddy, if you see this picture, know I'm not enjoying myself. Look at my eyes. I should not have moved out of Des Moines, Iowa. I'm very sorry. I want to go back to working at that place. 
Um, wow, man. What a clam job he is. But so he shows up with three of them. They're all, are they all bitchy, too? Or are they being pleasant? Or two they, of them. Were they talking to anybody else, the two of them? Well, he didn't want them talking to anybody. That's weird. When, How do you know that? Was he like, don't talk to anybody? I, I was watching him like a hawk. Oh, because you're a fan everybody. of ours. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for the recon. I just thought of you guys the whole time. I mean, it would be better if you actually hit record on your iPhone and then put it to your chest like a wire and then try <laughs> to have a conversation. When yeah. you heard, when you heard he was coming to the party, did you actually get like jittery, giggly for me and Dan? Yes, yeah, I did. I, I, I my, appreciate that so much. Wanted to leave, and I I was like, all right, peace out. I'll get an Uber. Oh, you know what? You should have got a Lyft, and we can give you Lyft dollars to pay for that. <laughs> I would have seen some Lyft bucks for that. <laughs> we have Lyft dollars, because they were our sponsor for a week. It's true. Um, so they show up. These girls want to leave. What's he doing? What's his interactions? He was just trying to get people on his side. Oh. He kept bringing up how people were bad-mouthing him, and everyone got really uncomfortable, because he's so <laughs> not talented. And they were like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're you're great, you're you're great." Who did we see him talking to? Did he make what's the what's the, the most notable name he walked up to and was like, "Check out my Today Show appearance." <laughs> Probably Ron Jeremy. Wow, that's pretty great. That's Hedgehog, pretty great. you gotta see that. It'd be great if Ron Jeremy just uh, just faked his narcolepsy where he just passed out in the middle of that conversation. Oh, I'd love to watch it, but. <sighs> Sorry, Ron. I nodded off. Do you want to watch the Angels fight to death? <laughs> you want to come over? It's a cool trick I learned. You want to watch the Angels murder each other to see who gets to let me finger them? Is he Facebook living? What is this? What is this video? What is this? What, what are you showing me? Corey's Angels band arrives in New York City. I want you to show me what you are showing me. This is an hour ago. They went to Ray's Pizza. Fucking play the video. To play Where's a new the song, audio? They're playing a new song on the Today Show tomorrow. Looks like. Oh yeah, turn. Up. You gotta hear this. It's faulty. Cor, fell dog. Use your powers. Use your powers. This means he's in the city. Nice and greasy, baby. Um, Courtney's waiting, of course, for her vegan. Oh, yes, very nice, very nice. Showing off the lovely vegan pizza. Lovely vegan pizza choices. Oh my gosh. Cause next to him, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Almost gone already. Almost gone. She's devouring. I would take off his glasses um, and hood anyway, and go, Corey Haim? And... <laughs> City baby, woo! <laughs> Corey's Angels, live in New York. Right? Check right, this out. Right, right, right. Oh my right, god. Anyway, we're excited. You know what it is? Excited. It's the exact same energy as when a drug dealer has a girlfriend. Yeah, you know what's funny? It's the exact every time I've been to a drug dealer's house and he's had some weird chick on the couch with him. He like bosses her around. Yeah, he's like, but in some like but it's like spin around for the fellas. No, but in a That's weird way. Ass. He's like, You want hey, you guys want tecates? Hey, go get us some, some tecates. Thanks, Bree. Yeah. yeah, that's my chick. And he starts talking about her, he goes, he sucks dick like a fucking porn star, bro. Yeah, dude, she's fucking straight up damaged. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Anyways, like, uh, it's 50 for an eight. Did you find yourself feeling bad for the angels, Jen? Oh, I did. I oh, don't know if like Jen's telling the truth. Uh, why would you think she's lying about I this? Don't. This is Zero to Sixty Dan coming through. No, it's not. This is not Zero to Sixty. Do you think it's a bonkers fucking thing to be at a, a, a Hollywood yes. party and Fell Dog shows up? I just... I'm blown away by What else is he going to do? He doesn't work. I just don't know. I didn't know that he just goes out to parties. That doesn't blow my mind at all. Jen, I uh, hook, line, and sinker, you got me on this one. I, I believe you completely. Why would she make this up? I don't know. Cause she I hasn't can, even told like a crazy story. I can just if she was like, I things. almost had an orgy with him, then we're like, you know. Yeah. Jen, would you have fucked him for the story? <laughs> For you guys, yeah. Jen, oh. you should get all the free merchandise Jen, we ever made. Jen, I'll be honest with you. I will put you on a weekly salary if you agree to commit your life right now to infiltrating the angels. Become an angel. Oh, my tell God. Tell us what the life is like. And then you can write a biography called No Angel. <laughs> and then <laughs> my, yeah, my, my, year, my year and a half submerged in <laughs> Corey's angels. You'd be like Jane Goodall. You go live amongst the gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Jen. I'll, I'll believe you forever if you go do this. Immerse your life in living as a Corey Angel. Oh, See please. Where it gets. Now, here's the problem. I don't know. What, I'm, I assume you're a beautiful woman. Um, what I'll say is, if you're going to look at it from a positive angle, things are going to happen. Apparently, you're only going to eat a meal a day. 
from oh, what we understand. That's what we got from yeah. We got to get that. Uh, yeah, we have to get this uh, this thing from the. Uh, oh, the that's Jude a great show. question. Murkface uh, wants to know: Were they dressed in the angel costumes, Jen? Uh, they had white dresses on, but Weird. no wings. Were they the same dresses? Yes. Oh, that's fucking... Now, see, now it's becoming cultish and, and even more bizarre. Here, but then you heard Corey's Angels. I always thought that was just like his kind of promotion team yeah. and his stupid band. But now that you hear a thing where it's like they're doing... Like, like that's, that's fucking bizarre. Like, they f just follow him around, like, looking down like a fucking pimp. Oh, yeah. You're right, Lou. Now Lou's getting emotional. He feels bad for the angels. Yeah, Lou. These girls had a chance at life. I gotta save them with my audio skills. <laughs> There's only one thing that could pull these girls out of the gutter. That's the proper song during conversation. <laughs> Poison's fallen angel. This got me through so many bad times when I got... But I got shit on for prom. I'm gonna stop by that slut's house later and <laughs> throw a whole loaf of challah bread at the window. <laughs> I'm gonna just flick matzo like Chinese stars at her fucking yeah, you face. You want some white fish, you dirty slut? <laughs> Here comes the man of Shevitz, bitch, yeah. and I'm gonna jerk off on her window. Oh, I got one for you, two for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time out. Is Corey is at Ray's Pizza down the block? Let's go take a cigarette break and see if we. Can see him, dude. There's a million. Tweet, rays. tweeted him to come to SiriusXM right now. Tweet at him, dude. Are we drunkenly going to get Corey on the show? Yeah, I changed my mind. Maybe that's how drunk I am. I don't want to make fun of this guy, but I want to bring these fucking dimwits in, and I want to do this <laughs> right now. Now's the day. Tweeted him, come to SiriusXM on forty, uh, forty eighth and sixth. Right, forty eighth and sixth. <laughs> Oh, dude. And bring the angels on Comedy Central Radio. Yeah, drop Comedy Central Radio. Throw them so far under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them we have booze, which is true. And uh, and Dan's got some kind of drug pen. I don't have anything, bro. Nothing. <laughs> You're not incriminating me on the air. And got Dan's got enough. heroin. Uh, what? I'm a heroin mule. juice. I'm a mule. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff up Dan's butt. I I just got ex very excited that there's a slight possibility that Feldar could be down the street. This is on Facebook, though, so do it on Facebook and everything. Get this fucker. Put it out there. Tell him the bonfire that people know we talk. And by the way, if you're listening, tweet at Corey Feldman right now. And go on his Facebook and tell him we, we can get him on. We have an hour of show left. We can get this fucker on. I know we can. Ah, oh, dude. I feel so good about this. It's 7 o'clock. <laughs> I mean, Me and Lou are going down for our cigarettes. Yeah. Everyone, it's up to you now, America. You, you put it in the hands of the campers. How, how, long, how, long, how long into the party do they leave? They were there for probably a good two hours. And the girls just hated it. Oh, damn it. They're going to oh, hate yeah. this show. Do you think they yeah. sad face fuck them, or do you think they're into it? Oh, God. Unless He's going to walk off. drugged yeah. them and brainwashed them, then it's probably a hate fuck. Oh, wow. Well, we could all hope to be hate-fucked by one half of License to Drive. <laughs> um, Jen, thanks so much for your call. That's awesome. Please keep us updated on anything you find out. If you want to join the Angels, I will endorse that a million percent. I mean, we can see what we can do with Comedy Central to get you a little bit of money. It's You're 31. You I'm starting to feel you're about 13 years too old for what this guy's looking for. And you don't seem to be a confused runaway. Of but we're going to do a real never been kissed. And we're going to make you seem... We're going to throw you back in the mix there. Yeah. Let's do it. I want you to break his heart. <laughs> I can do it. You're going to be the one he falls in love with. And then uh, and then you break his heart, Jen. Stay in touch, please. And uh, we'll keep you updated. Maybe you can call back in if we get him up here. But I feel good about this. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. You have a good Thank one. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Oh, we love you too, Jen. Crackle, crackle. We'll talk to you soon. Crackle, crackle. We'll Bye, be guys. right back after me and Lou's cigarette. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, hair metal Wednesday. It makes so much sense with you and DJ Lou Witzke getting hammered. Fuck yeah, why not? Whoa. Wow, just cut it off quick, huh? Oh, look how they were fucking hair metal right there. Cinderella, save me. From Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. So there's some hometown boys. Huh? Right near my house. Yes, indeed. Darb. Um, they were awesome, Cinderella. I saw I was a few too years young. ago. I was still pretty great. I was way too young. This was by like the time I learned about him. It was already the funny like.
crusty oh, factor. Really? Oh, see, this was uh, they were never cool. This was like my a to tape. me. I don't know. I mean, I'm saying their first know. tape night songs was one of those like always had it in my pocket with my Walkman. Really? Always. Oh yeah. See, it's weird how like you just miss it I, by, by the five way, years. And I don't know just... if you see that he did a lot of the flipping the guitar around his body shit. They were a cool fucking band, man. Yeah. Cinderella. And the guy has a unique voice, Tom Kiefer. Tom Kiefer. How you feeling, DJ Lewitsky? Nice. Ready He's feeling nice. Tackle the world. Yeah, how was that cigarette? You guys were gone. It felt good. By the way, over the break, you heard DJ uh, Watergate, my fake... Came alive. My fake house uh, DJ name that... Featuring... DJ Mussolini. DJ Mussolini. Yeah, it was a split set. Yeah. By DJ Lewitsky. And that was one song featuring. It was featuring. Dan's idea. He he wrote it. I produced. You made it so great. You made it come to life. You're my Doctor Frankenstein. Isn't that I know all the I know the names of everybody in this band. Oh, who's the guitar player? That right there is Jeff Labar. Okay, Tom who's Kiefer. That? Eric Brittingham is the bass player. The guy's flipping this shit around. Okay. And the bass or the drummer is. It sounds like a lineup for the Royals in the seven like seventy eight. <laughs> the drummer is Fred Corey and George. Fact Brett. check that, Christine. Is wait what's Fred, the Co Fred Corey, Eric Brittingham, Jeff Labar, uh, Tom Kiefer. No way, man! It was Johnny Hopkins and Sloan Kennedy, and they were there. They were blazing that shit. <laughs> up. Blazing that shit up. Uh, fucking wrecked. I'm, I'm surprised. Let's you see know, the members here. Are you guys going to do another shot? Yes. The uh, the original members: Tom Kiefer, Eric Brittingham, Jeff Labar, and Fred Corey, my friend. Fred Corey. I nailed it. You did nail it. You know you're Cinderella. There's a lot of members because it's a band from the 80s who try to still tour a lot. Yeah. Well, of course. They got to... Uh... It's funny how they changed, though, too. A lot of them didn't change, but Eric Brittingham was in some car accident. Now he's like a big, beefy, like, biker dude really? with dark hair. Yeah, but he was like the so prettiest like, one when they, when they were younger. So he, like, hit his head and he became a different person? Yeah. Like Charles in Charge when he became Chaz? Yes, he, got, he became Chaz in Charge. Are we getting any news at all from Feldman? He's not nothing writing back. Keep going. Keep blasting, everybody. we got 45 more minutes. Mm. Yes, Lou. Bar deep bartender Lou. Dude, Lou's, Lou's right back. He's right back in it. He's on it. Can't stop, won't stop, he says. Yeah, Andy. Get rid of that veteran ice. <laughs> Andy. Andy's looking at him like a probation officer. <laughs> oh, he's like, that veteran oh, ice, huh? I love Stu. Oh, yeah, you're slowly becoming Stu. I think Stu's the second hour kind of thing. Oh, salacious Stu. Salacious Stu. Just wants to hear all the sex stories. Um, Merkface had a good thing, and I yeah. turned over to him because... Uh, people yell at us, but he has Jen to email her picture, and uh, it is Salacious Hour. If you want to send Salacious pictures, no one's going to argue that, but you can send it to uh, the bonfire at XX... Wait, the bonfire at SiriusXM.com? No, this has something to do with you guys yes. not seeing it. What is it? The bonfire at SiriusXM.com. The bonfire at SiriusXM.com. Uh, at e Hotmail. Or you can just uh, email Dan directly. Hey, at... <laughs> hey, bro. You don't breach that. Are you setting it up in like a fucking V? Oh, never mind. From this angle, it looks I'll like... I'll give my email. I don't use it all. Why would you do this? Because we don't know how to open anything oh. in here. I just forget the password. We don't know the password. It's upstairs, it goes right to my email. Does Jakob know? We password. need to make a secret bonfire oh, yeah. email Jacob's just for us and the Text camp. us the password. Jacob, Jacob can't listen. He just said he just texted. He can't use electricity. Over. Check the group email. He said the text. Right. Wait, did he? Then, then he needs a text. Oh, he did have a text. He needs to text somebody the email or, uh, password so he can check if Jen sends salacious pictures. I know she's listening. She says she loves us. I love her. Do I your just shot. want to see salacious pictures. Do your shot. Where's my shot? Is this it here? Say it's all ready to go? Yeah. Too salacious. Salacious. Lou. Cheers, Fugle Sang. This is the one that oh. puts you under. Oh. <laughs> Lou's, so starting, sang. Lou's starting to cut deep. I like Lou right now. I like Stu is showing up. He's by the way, everyone. You Yo, don't know. Jen, show your butthole. And he just did he just did the over the top and he turned his hat around Dude. like Sylvester Stallone and over the top. It's great. Oh, yeah. The, oh, the shirt, the, yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Lou, you lunatic. What's wrong with you? You want to do another one, don't you, Lou? Do one more, Lou. You won't do one more, you puss. Well, I only have once. Oh, dude. That's right. Can't, you can't. won't do another one. Can't, can't wait for Lou's bus ride home. Who oh, sits dude. next to him. Oh, you can be like, do you know what I did today? I was a DJ. Hey, Watergate. Hey, sir, did you ever have your dick sucked on a bus? <laughs> I'm going to put my head in your lap just because I want to go to sleep. Put a, put your jacket over my head so no one sees what I'm doing to you. I don't want to be the... the, the Christino's going to start doing a few. Yeah, what are you doing, Christine? Christine, you got to do three. No. You have to do three. Why don't you do three? Christine's got to do three. You can't oh, do any. We're losing Andy. You better not fucking... Andy wants Work face that. wants one so bad. No, I have to. I got to run the board now and do everything else. <sighs> 
corporate motherfucker. <laughs> you know what, Jay Andy? What? Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks see, I almost went zero to six. Yeah. Andy on you. What? I did. What? I heard that. What do you want? I just want to score three Andy. for Christine, Lou. Christine needs three. Ooh, good save with the elbow. Lou's fine. Dude, Lou's... You see that fucking... Like, those cat Lou has... Sticks? Lou, at this point, has comedic, like... Drunk face. Oh, it's dude, great. he is soggy. Yeah. Nothing from Jen. We got an email. It's great. Nothing from Jen in the email? You got in? Yeah. In. Well, give her a second. She's got to fucking spread her pussy lips for you and figure Jesus out how to take a picture. Jesus, What? Well, I, I assume. I assume. It's the salacious hour, but it's not that far. We're supposed to have angels in here at any moment. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot angels might walk in the door. I don't think it's going to happen. Christine, God, what are you it. doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing Three shot? shots. Feldmon. <laughs> Feldmon? Don't, she hasn't even had a shot yet. Yeah, don't try to misdirect your anger. Oh, wait, I hope Christine starts getting loud and all that shit. It's my favorite. You I, know I, what? I, like, I like her on the cusp of fun drunk. She's fun. Okay. You had, you know fucking Soggy Evans. You've met her. Man, you know what? I mean, I was in a different world then. But was she fun? Did you find her to be? I don't remember much, dude. You don't remember much? Just the top of her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just what skin on skin sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Evans. She's the girl you fucking still call her by her last name. Oh, yeah, what? Evans. Oh, is there, that's the saddest thing. They just bummed me out on a cheap level. Oh, man. Oh, get it, Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> Evans gave me a bead yesterday on the beach. All yeah, right. What a dork. <laughs> what a dork she is. Oh, dude, Lou's loving it. I don't think I've seen a bigger fan of the bonfire. Lou, by the way, just so you know, just so you know, you know, Lou was down on the way downstairs apologizing to me for not laughing like this at our show when he's not hammered. Oh, dude, that's oh god. He's like, are, he's like, he's like, trust me, I, I'm laughing like this on the inside every week. Dude, Lou is the sweetest boy in the world. There's no way you can dislike Come on, Lou. Evans. Christine, did you pack your, you bang your three. Oh, Lou's calling just, you, Evans. I got reminded that I. I need to text Joe the number. Okay. You need to text... Oh, DeRosa. DeRosa. Yeah, we're supposed to have him on. If anyone's listening, if when DeRosa calls in, if you call in uh, and just give all of your information as the word shampoo... Yeah. And all your questions should be... And all be your questions should be if, if formed in the word shampoo. Shampoo. Well, shampoo. Um, that would be fantastic. I think you would really enjoy that. We'll take the first three callers of that before Joe goes, All right, guys, I guess the joke is over. Did you text him the number? Yep. Does Is he going to call in? Yep. How many shots did you do? One. One? Why are you saying it like you're mad at me? You won, Soder. You happy? I'm like, all right. You made her feel bad about herself. You're fine. You got a belly full of Chick-fil-A. Pound them. Oh, you know what? So you're trying to say you think you're better than Lou. Oh, dissension in the ranks. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Lou, yeah. Lou is, <laughs> By the way, those burps are... Lou is giddy. Making me happy. Show. Lou, 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 do you want to? You just want to listen to music right now, don't you? Are you that drunk? We just want to hear some tunes. You guys ever hear uh, the Jam live in Borneo? <laughs> yeah. Some shitty fucking live yeah. show. Oh, they do a live show in Bora Bora. And it's awesome. <laughs> he just cuts it off after a minute. He goes, "You weren't liking that song." I'm They're the change. only band of just all white guys ever allowed in Syria to perform. I want to get him Albert Molina fucked up, where he's just walking around in a robe. Oh, that's yeah. Merc face. He's that's Chinese. That's Merc face. He's Chinese. Is Mark Face just throwing fucking poppers on the ground? Um, do your other two shots, Christine. The second one just now. Okay, then do the third. Whoa. Like, like a mama's baby bear. And uh, and we got to, because then we need you over there to go play this Rude Jude thing. I want to hear. I want to hear the angel shit talking the fell dog. I mean, we, I wish we could just have fell dog on the I show. only fixed her one shot. She's, she's going. She's on her third. She's going without ice, though. She says a full cup of vodka. Oh, You're Christine's like, oh fucking God. beach garbage. She's not even in a chaser. Hey, she just Merc make me face, feel better. hold that bottle up. You guys did some decent work. Yeah, that's half gone. Half a bottle. That's pretty good. For two Three hours. Three people? It's great. Three people. You know, I mean, you're not in the, uh, in the, with a real champion like myself. But You could have yeah. pounded more than that. No. You're not a bottle a night guy yourself. You'd be fucking dead. No, I was like a half. Yeah. No, there's no I mean, college me probably. Half a, a bottle. Bo half a bottle. Half a bottle. Yourself. Myself. So that would be what have we done here so far. We got to say like probably six shots. Yeah. yeah. Six shots each. No, that's 12 and Christine, shots. And Christine's three. 15 <laughs> shots. Yeah, uh, that would be the whole night. I mean, that would be game over. After. Game over, 15 man. 15 shots you would do, though? I could do that. That's a lot. Christine said I mean, I used to drink 12 to 16 drinks a night. Christine said her and her fucking whore slutbag friends wow. used to start off the night. With, I didn't say she was. Her friends were. <laughs> yeah. But she was hanging with them, so she yeah. got a little honor, I'm sure. Birds of a feather. <laughs> um, I mean, they found each other. Um, 
She said they'd start the night off with ten shots. That is, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like Thursday nights. Your there's... first, your first place because you go to that Continental. We go to Continental, five yeah. shots for ten dollars. I know exactly. Most of the time, we do the five shots there, and then go to Grassroots and get a nine dollar pitcher, and then go to Sing Sing for karaoke, and like not buy any booze there. Yeah. And then go back for five more. There was once or twice where we did ten right off the bat. That's a that was. I was like done. I used to do five beers and five shots at Barcelona Bar for twenty bucks. Dude, beer just lays so heavy in my gut. Oh man, but then smoking a cigarette after like <laughs> two beers and three shots is not a better cigarette in the world. Remember that? I loved it. Yes, there is. Long plane ride. Yeah, you know what? That's never as satisfying as you hope. Yeah, getting off the plane. That's more of an emer- right. that's more of an emergency. I got cigarette. the best cigarette. Uh, ca- cold car ride with the window open. It's cracked. Oh, you can I tell you my favorite cigarette? Sure. New random puss. Okay. Fucks, then leaves quickly. Okay. And you get to enjoy a cigarette by yourself and reflect in the night's naked magic. D- naked dump cigarette. No. That's mine. That's yours. Naked dump cigarette. No, I don't like the smell of that. Okay. Well, I have a very weak sense of I've smell. done it. I didn't like it. I, uh, but the after... Fucking new person, alone, they leave. Cigarettes pretty great. Oh, hold on real in quick. Life. Rebecca from Indiana, she has an issue with uh, our hot girls conversation from last week. What did we say? Were we Hi, Rebecca. I'm, sure you got to be kidding. warned, Rebecca. Rebecca. You're, half the show is drunk. I am That's sober. not even true. Lou is I, Tell me what's wrong with me. Am I slurring words? I'm nothing. <laughs> I really, I'm upset. I have built in a year and a half of drinking an insane tolerance, apparently. Yeah. I'm good to go. Well, Lou Me is. and Lou are nowhere near in the same place. You I mean, have to see that. Lou's adorable. You want me to do all this goofy shit? <laughs> yeah. I like, it's like Lou's adorable. Z-Y-X. W. <laughs> well, Rebecca, one person on the show is drunk. I have no problem with you guys. I was just listening right now. It was really weird. I was having double feedback. Um, no, I was just saying, you guys are more than hot enough to go up to hot girls. It's totally fine. Chris on your Instagram. You guys are lovely men. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Are you drinking right now? <laughs> She's like, I'm half in the bag, and I do both of you. <laughs> My beer goggles are on, and I am opening up both holes. And I'm telling you this right now, Soder, that water head looks like it would fit perfectly <laughs> right in this poon. <laughs> Right in my pain. Um, uh, thank you so much, Rebecca. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I thought you had a problem, but it was just a compliment. So thanks. Oh, uh, just a compliment. Just I, the, the way no Merkface problem. wrote it says, like, has an issue with our hot girls conversation from last <laughs> week. Like, you were going to be like, you superficial pieces. I'm like, did we say something shitty? I write for Salon. You're like, oh, you guys finally showed up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been laying traps for ourselves for a year. I knew this, I knew this goddamn day would come. <laughs> Nolte? Uh, hell. Uh, hell. I knew it. I hate this goddamn thing would come again. God damn it, bitch. Oh, well, Rebecca, thank you very much for calling in. You are a sweet girl, and thank you for call, um, for complimenting us. Thank you. Well, no problem. I love the show. Not a problem at all. We love you, Rebecca. Have a good night, Rebecca. Oh, you. She's so pretty. On the phone, uh, one of our oldest friends... Uh, a true friend of the show. He was on the live show at Austin, and he's yes, taping he his Comedy Central hour special this week. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of shampoo, Joe DeRosa. Joey DeRosa. Hey, buddy. Hey How's it going? Good. How are you doing, dude? Uh, I'm, a, I'm tired, but I'm good. Why are you good. tired? It's been a busy day. Well, we, we had to do a lot of stuff for the special today shooting wise so i'm uh, i'm on my lunch break and i'm gonna eat really fast and then it's back to work guys you know no rest for the weary am i, I right lo- oh, <laughs> am i right or am i right i love old hollywood de rosa he's working even on a high holiday <laughs> you guys know showbiz <laughs> Listen, hey kid take yeah. a quick lunch break and make some phone calls just because all the lawyers that make all the contracts have their holiday the real men are working at hollywood do you um are you having like a skit to open your special no skit, no. <laughs> uh, no zany skit. Uh, we're just shooting a lot of B-roll in the... We're, we're, the special is being shot in the Masonic Temple at the Hollywood Cemetery, so the cool. Hollywood Forever Cemetery. So all the B-roll for the intro is like, be, you know, shots in the cemetery and stuff. So we had to do all that today. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and do you... Are, and, are, tickets, uh, are tickets still available for the taping? I think so. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure. Where I would mean, pe- look, go get a go get a ticket and and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Take a ticket. Take, take Joe right now is filming. T- a, Joe right now is filming a special intro where he reads Walt Whitman poems by a by a gravestone. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> Parker, Never true words were said. Uh, Joe, we got to move on after lunch. We're going to do the Edgar Allan Poe over by uh, some of the other tombstones. He's doing an etching of a tombstone and goes like, oh, hey, thanks for watching my special, everybody. Sometimes they say comedy makes fun of death. <laughs> oh, you should do a Tales from the Crypt to, opening. What I, wanted to do was, uh, what I wanted to do was have the opening uh, be a shot of my head, and then the top of my head opens up, and all my crazy thoughts come out. <laughs> That, you know what you should, Joe, you should take caution tape and wrap it around your mouth like your jokes are too dangerous to leave your face. Uh, why did Shang have to beat me to it? <laughs> oh. Joe DeRosa is Shangri. <laughs> <laughs> that was Shang's album, Shangri. I remember he came now, to the, the laugh house to promote it. The name of the special is Fluffy Does Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy Goes Corporate. Uh, I love DeRosa just lifting someone else's entire thing. Oh, it's fucking so great. <laughs> <laughs> it says Fluffy Does Hollywood. And it's DeRosa, it's not DeRosa, Gabriel Iglesias. De- Joe DeRosa's new hour special, Get Her Started. <laughs> yeah. Here's your sign, Hollywood. <laughs> it's Joe DeRosa. Like you've never I seen like him. I like the... Uh, I like how the the blue collar guy. Like I'm not I'm not shitting on these guys. I, I I've met Ron White. He, he's very cool and very nice. Well, I, 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 I've I don't never know. met. If you don't know this, Larry the Cable Guy could snap your arm in an arm wrestling match. You might be from Collegeville if you grew up with two parents who love you. You might be from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it keeps it keeps boiling down though. Did you notice that? Like it started with the four of them, and then Ron White split. Yeah. And then it was the three dudes. And now Bill Engel just did a horror movie where he plays like a murderer, and it looks actually really cool. Oh Jesus! And now. There's that new special out where it's just, just Foxworthy like, and the cable guy, right? Jeff and Larry, yeah. Like which which way is up? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's. What's going to be great is uh, what, what, you what know, eventually you know, Jeff Foxworthy you know, waiting in the wings for this the whole time. A little comic by the name of Killer Bees, who is out there in the world just waiting. And he's got his line already. He goes, save up. No, he's just waiting for the call to the big leagues. How about he's, wait, he's waiting for Jeff to take a long walk in the woods with Larry and put him down. He's going to put him Come down. back out and go, I need another running mate. I just got me an eight-point buck by the name of Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> I'm going to wear his mustache as a trophy. <laughs> Save up. Oh, that's so great. Joe, I'm so proud of you doing this special, man. You excited? When's the taping day? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, so, shit. Uh, so, so cool. I believe, I believe there's still some tickets left. Where do, the, where do people go to get so tickets? Go to, go to, go to Blacklist and what? Or sorry, the Blacklist NYC.com. T H E Blacklist NYC.com. Tickets are free. Come out, have a good time if you're in L.A. That's West awesome. Hollywood Cemetery, Masonic Temple. And, Badass. Uh, who's opening for you? It's going to be awesome. Uh, there's really no opener. Gary Cannon, who's an amazing uh, comic and warm-up guy, is going to. He's Conan's warm-up guy. Oh, he's cool. going to come out and really get everybody like, uh, hopefully nuts, and then I'll come out and level them out. Yeah. <laughs> come out and spread it even. Angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Listen, you put that pad of butter out there, I'll even it out. <laughs> no, I'll get it all over the bread even. <laughs> um, Joey, yeah, so. I got to tell you, dude, you know, when you moved up to New York, you moved in with me. Uh, and yeah. you see all the success you've had, uh, be a better call Saul and, and writing on like the wet, hot American summer. I mean, you've been, uh, you've done amazing things, dude, and I don't tell you enough how proud I am of you, dude. So uh, this is going to be a cool thing. Are you doing Thanks, two shows? Man. Are you doing two shows? Yeah, two. It's a 7.30 and a 9.30. Uh, and thank you. That's very touching. And, I, you know, the, the sentiment is completely mutual uh, with both of you, man. It was, it's, it was awesome seeing you do your thing this year, Jay, and it was awesome seeing Soder do yours. And it's, you know, it's, I'm really happy about the show, man. I, I get chills when I see billboards. Uh, for the radio show with you guys on it. I mean, it's pretty pretty wild. So it's pretty wild stuff, babe. <laughs> <laughs> wild, Dennis Miller. Uh, wild, wacky stuff. Uh, DeRosa went all Dennis Miller. I don't mean to go off on a rant here, but shampoo, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, you guys are the best, man, and, and congrats on all the success and everything. Joe, we, it's great. We, we love you, you and you're fucking you're one of the best. We and, love uh, you, dude. Go check out the blacklist nyc.com for tickets for the Comedy Central hour special of Joe DeRosa's. He's gonna be taping it tomorrow in Los Angeles. Go get tickets. There's a couple tickets left and make sure you go check it out. Uh, I saw Thanks, I've seen guys. the hour in pieces and it's fucking great. Go enjoy the rest of your lunch Thanks. break. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. Thanks, guys. Have I a great you. show. See bye you. Bye. Love you, bye. Uh, that's Joe DeRose, everybody. Make sure you check that out. It's going to be a great special, man. Joe's, uh, he's got 15 albums, but never, uh, <laughs> never an hour special yet. So I'm very excited to see this, man. He really is, uh, one of the best dudes, man. He really yeah, is great. And, great. uh, we will take our last break here. Like a motherfucker. And we still got like 25 minutes to get the fell dog in here. So it could happen. It could happen still. Christine, right. are you even trying anymore? Yes, we have a bunch of, and we have other All right, sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking do everything for this show. You guys got to You guys have to catch up to Lou when we get back. Uh, when we come back, hopefully we'll have naked pictures of Jen and maybe uh, Rebecca sends us some filth. Who knows? Or maybe Cor Corey Feldman's here. Maybe. maybe Corey Feldman has his dick hanging out. Everyone. Or we'll find out. Do two more live reads. We'll find out in a few minutes after these two live reads. It's the bonfire. Now back to the bonfire. Can I say one thing? Fuck you, Dennis. The bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Ah. Brittany Fox, Girl School. Coming in at number five on the, on the chart. No, Brittany Fox, Girl School. We're doing hair metal Wednesdays here. As Lou Witzke just gets fucking hair. I almost feel like I'm getting more and more sober with every shot. It's bizarre. Do you think there's any chance you go sideways randomly? Like it just hits me at one point. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, has that happened? Fireball. Yeah, but no, but I was taking fireball over. I was getting drunk and I kept doing it. Like, I am right now, like, disturbingly for the amount of booze I've drank. Like, the, the fireball was like you were doing a show. You were oh, mic's on, Andy. We need our mic on. I know. Show. Yeah, you're. Is that good? Can we hear now? Christine, clunk your head into the mic. Hello. Uh, when you were doing Fireball, it was like you were doing a show, and during the show, you were totally fine. And then immediately after the Sorry. show, you for. were more wasted than I've ever seen you. So after it was the, the Yeah, that was the most wasted you've ever seen me ever. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Dude, he's, now he's doing the face where he's like, <laughs> where he's like you guys hear what I just did? Nailed that. Lou yeah. Lou gave me oh. Hear that sound effect? Killed it. Stu is in the building. Lou gave me another Ooh. shot. Stu is in the motherfucking building. Oh, Stu is here. Stu is definitely. Stu, did you feeling good? Did we get uh, any I'm email? I'm good. I'm feeling great. We did get an email from Jen, but she just said, hey, Jen here. So I said, hey, Jen, do you want to send us a pic? Hey, cool. so whatever your comfort level. <laughs> hey, Jen, what's up your butthole? Hey, whatever your comfort um, level. Hey, amiga. Hey, hey amiga. Um, Christine, doing another shot? You doing your last one? Ooh, she's getting tough. Guys, gorgeous. what if... She's going to be so fun tonight. I come off the wagon. Uh, no. Right I now, it's not going to happen. Also, Here's the beauty. No, we yeah. have 15 minutes of show left, and we still have not listened to Rude Jude and this angel yet. Let's, well, play, let's play it right now. Hang on. I have it pulled up. I just think it's somewhere. Yeah. This is the Cinderella Ikea video. Five. My keys. Where's your brother? <laughs> is this it? A tragic star. Thank what's, you. What should I call you, Crystal or Tragic Star? You can call me Tragic Star. I like calling you Tragic Star. It's way better. Yeah, it's got a nice little. How'd you come up with that name? <laughs> um, it was actually a lyric to one of my newer songs. So, um, so it's a little newer. Now. Something's happening. Yeah, it's kind of in the newer, background. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now a lot of people. You you're a musician. You play guitar. I play guitar. You play yeah. with Prince. I did. Yeah, wow. I got a chance to play with him. All, All right. right. What a fall down. A uh, very. Surreal and um, a little awkward as well. I'm gonna be. Is that, is that into, <laughs> Prince is like Prince doesn't get a lot of credit for being a guitar player because he's such a good fucking singer and uh, front man. But he's a beast on guitar. Was that intimidating to play with Prince or was it like? Oh, it was the most intimidating experience of my life. Easily. Was that? What I made walked it into. I walked into Paisley Park like, okay, this is. You know, all the years of training and all the years of working so hard, I was like, all right, you got to, like, bring your A game. 
Because he's very critical. Are you a session musician, too? Do you, can you see if you can go forward to where he's talking to her about Corey? Because the Prince stuff is interesting, but I just don't want to play all of Rude Jude's interview. Look up in your air. It's your guitar. Lou, are we on? It's a six-minute clip. So because you're quite attractive. Why, thank you. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. So <laughs> she was hot. He saw you. He saw, he saw, yeah, it's he saw like, you know, pictures, of, you know, videos, um, you know, what you graduated in, like all that kind of stuff, your resumes up there and all that. And then he, he reached out no to you to do the... No! To play guitar in his no! band that I did not know existed until that email. Yeah, no, who, no, who no, would? No, who would? No. It's fucking Goonies. Like, <laughs> not a fucking... Was it weird the first time you saw him and you were like, did 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 he ever... Did you feel like he channeled Michael Jackson in his performing? I feel like he gave a very good effort to try to imitate or emulate Michael. Yeah, I'm not saying he did it well. But like, it's very like a, difficult to even... Anybody who would even try to do that is... It's... Was that weird to watch? Impossible. Because, like, I've talked to him, but I'm like, yo, dude, why, why are you doing Michael Jackson? And he's like, I'm not doing Michael Jackson. And I'm like, yeah, you are. He gets, by the way, yeah, pause he, that. he gets asked is, that a lot. If he's doing Michael Jackson, he's like, I mean, it's like inspired by a tribute to, but I mean, he's doing Michael Jackson dances. No, they grew up dancing together. Yeah, they're, they're mimicked moves. Dancing school. They're mimicked moves completely. <clears throat> By the way, right, so I just had an amazing moment and got my feelings hurt. Jen sent a <laughs> awesomely salacious picture. Not 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 Jay salacious. Not no, what I would have but for. definitely soda salacious. But super soda salacious. And then said she would love to have a night with Dan. And that, but I'm single and you're not. It's not that. <laughs> Is this where the alcohol starts? Oh, going? so you're saying that maybe it's because I'm not single and she thinks Christine's gross? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, so we could bring fuck her, you! Don't team up on so me. Could, so we could bring her. We could have brought her home together, but she thinks that Christine's uh, a pig. I get. It. Sorry, Christine. Once Why again, you've cost us puss. Well, thanks for pointing. She out, loves Dan. Dan. They you. always love Dan. Guys, let's not. Why are you getting so mad about? No it? one's oh, as a depressant. Why is nobody in the me? Uh, you have stupid Christine. show for what? She really is, though. I mean, that chick is so beautiful. You're like, is that a real picture? That's so what good I, job, I, didn't see your, I didn't see your face. I, you have it. Let doesn't me see. Doesn't matter. <laughs> They're all rolling too. in now. We got another one from another female listener. I don't want to say her name because she didn't give us permission. But. Oh motherfucker! I'm going to look now. Why are you guys so angry? This alcohol is splitting this family apart. Yeah. Which yep. person? That, it's funny that's watching that person, oh. and then this is uh, Dan's new girlfriend. Yeah, I saw that one. I don't know by if I can way, follow the footsteps the of way, a Wheel of Fortune. By the way, outside. both fantastic. Maybe the other one's madly in love with me. She didn't write it for no no reason. I'm prompted. Hold on, I'm gonna see her. <laughs> you're gonna like them both. They're both heavy sets. Now let's see what. You, now, by the way, both sent a great picture, but they both sent almost identical pictures. Let's see who will go further. Now we only have yes. ten minutes of show left. So we're friends. This to is the us. vodka kicking in. Who will go the furthest? Lou's, Lou's starting to jump up and down like a circus. Show. Whoever goes the furthest, you have my word. And, just and so you know, Soda will mail you one thousand dollars. <laughs> just so you know, what we're talking about it's so and so from Indiana. Do you know who you are? Oh yeah. You just sent us. Of course they know who they are. Well, I just wanted to be clear. It could have been. Oh. Good. Let's see where the both of them go. The race is on. Um, wowzers. Zoinks. Um, all right, go play the rest of this thing. Awkward. Because I say it's very weird. He really gets Wow! <laughs> oh, that's Soder's girl. I mean, they, Jesus Christ, Soder. If if that's any sort of real, I mean, holy shit, dude. Not, yeah. I mean, she's hotter than any girl that's a Corey's angel. She's, yeah. I mean, those are, uh, those are clearly fake, but they are fantastic. Who's writing that? You're writing Christine, that. just get the goddamn breast implants already. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I mean, come on. That's great. If anything like that happens, good. F oh, it's amazing. I only have like five more years left with you anyway before you trade me in. So. Oh, this is Christine. Oh, shit, right? by, by the way, that was Christine drunk talking yeah. right there. I don't know what oh. the hell. I told we might have to push this one to 830. I, I, got a, I got a spot at the cellar, but I'm going to push this one back. I profess my love for Christine so much. Oh, Christine's recently. got the juice pumping through her. <laughs> he does this, not should... like old face bitches. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here it comes. This is some DC improv shit. This is coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> and guess what? Before I met you, I sucked off Dan four times at Dos like, Caminos. That's not true at all. It was another Dan. I, yeah, yeah. But I was there. <laughs> but I was there beating it in the corner. In the shadows. I saw. None of your friends would ever fuck me, Jay. I tried. Right. No. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, Jay's blown away face. But meanwhile, Lou is just glazed over. I feel so at home. This is how I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> my, your mommy and daddy fighting. I love it. Lou goes, can I sleep at the foot of your bed tonight? This is great. Um, yes, yeah, so there are two callers that sent in uh, pictures. You have ten more minutes to see who can go the grossest. I, mean, um, I think they're both incredible pictures. They're incredible pictures. Thank you very both much. Both are incredible pictures. I don't... The, the Gen 1, I was like, I don't know if that's true. If that's real? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fucking perfection. I mean, there's no way the, the fucking announcer of the fucking Price is Right got to check that out. There's no goddamn way. That's right? so how it is in L.A. That's yeah. how they all are. Yeah? Not like that, though. She's a beauty. I mean, she's insane. That looks like... And look, again, there's a lot There's a lot cut out of it. There's, like, you know, bottom of... But, I mean, like, it looks like a... I mean, a perfect person. If we want to get back to the... Uh, the I do. The I Corey do. Uh, girl. The, the angel. <laughs> talking to Rude Jude. Um, I mean, I, I hate to be this way, but it's just funny to me she because... Left. You know, he's an actor, so he's really dramatic about everything. He's right. like over the top, like right, everything. Right. It's not just like, you know, like a norm, like a normal person. You know, he's like an actor, so everything is just way, way, way over the top. And uh, yeah, it's it's just cringe. So when you're listen when you're listening to this, you weren't even, you were like, this guy's got to be. Oh, when I oh yeah no when I when I well we had that twenty minute text argument. So you already and I given up I on just that. I actually just. When, you know what? I'm not arguing with this. I'm not arguing with you anymore, and that's it. I mean, once I say, like, that's it, I just can't. Like, I'll just turn the phone off and just not even look because I have other things to do. So I was like, well, you know what? We're arguing about this now for, like, almost half an hour, and I can't work with you anymore. Sorry, you already have another guitar player. Anyways, and then about a week later, because I don't check my voicemail, like, who checks their voicemail? Um, I found this voicemail that I didn't even see until a week after the gig, and I was just like, wow, like, Good thing that I, you know, just turned the phone off because once you start speaking to people like that, they get, you know, it's it's over. You know, you All can't right. work with people like that. So, eh. Crystal, um, <laughs> I'm gonna play the rest of this voice now. So, just I want you to be strong. Okay, I'll try. Like you know that I spent real money, and you know that I'm struggling, and you know how hard it has been to get to this point. And like, you how know much money did he spend on you? Uh, well, he did buy a plane ticket. Okay, so to New York, three five hundred dollars, which right. his manager actually told me would be refunded to them. But that's okay. Yeah. So come on, you're so you're you're a zero. session musician. Zero. That's part of that's par for the course. He's supposed to pay for that shit. Of course. All right, let's hear more. And like no person would do this to another group of people that they call friends, unless you're like a soulless careless like inhumane fucking piece of shit so i really hope for all fucking practical purposes that this is a fucking elaborate Can we skip ahead joke. we already heard we heard this can we skip ahead to this was all a joke or you were just playing or smell weird to you does he have an odor cory feldman <laughs> that's a great uh... question because when he came in here he smelled like cigarettes and hopelessness <laughs> Ooh, chewed, throw oh, barbs. God, yeah. Yeah, like the opposite of Obama. Like he was like pretty, cigarettes pretty and no much. hope. It's it's kind of like it, it. You know, it makes you think to yourself, man. All, all maybe you don't want to get all your hopes and dreams fulfilled when you're young. No you one like, wants to end up like Corey peaking at fifteen. Yeah, ain't the move, right? All right, Crystal. What's the song we're gonna play of yours? Some people. So the song is called. Some people Ghost. you can cut it off now. Some people would be okay with that if you peak at fifteen, but it rides you your whole life. Just find something to do. Well, I guess he did the shitty music and having a harem of freaky chicks. <laughs> but before that, he was fucking greatest actor, kid actor ever. He was great, but the thing is, why not? So just she just, like, yeah. I mean, like this harem. It's like why? Does you it, forget that she was the why one who played the be, message. Why does it have to be so weird? What like, do you mean? Why, why can't he just play it kind of like... No, just, like, just play it like closer to the hip as far as like, look, he's got a bunch of chicks live at the house and he just does this thing. It's like, why? They're in the band. Dressing or... them up and like they're a part of a band. And so you should just say, like, just have like, just have an all-female backing band. Just have a band and if they happen to also be like your live-in fucking chicks, like, mm -hmm. it's, like it's such like a weird like... 
As everyone finds, it's like it's too much, too much got out there, and now it just looks like a weird thing. Well, you start to see all like the. Uh, by the way, it's weird. I don't care if they go. I have six girlfriends who live at my fucking house. I'm like, man, good for you, do whatever, yeah. whoop it up while you can, I guess. But there's a thing about like why I put them in halos. And yeah, and then they have to yeah. walk, and they can't talk to other people, and this whole fucking weird thing, and they that have is... to dress like morons all the same. It's like it's a. Why do you want it to be so cultish? Yeah, that is pretty. Just live your fantasy thing and be whatever. But it's like when you're in. But you know what it is? That's like one of the scariest points you could hit in your psyche is when you don't realize the world thinks you're weird. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like no humility of that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean, Soder? Where it's like you get that. Uh, you, you just say what you say, and you're like, oh, if I say like, yeah, I use heroin casually, the world will embrace that. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know what well, I mean? That's like, what fame does. And you're like, no, no one's, there's, there's going to be a million articles written about what a fucking hunk of shit idiot you are. Let's have Lou read that from that on. Uh, oh, thought, yeah. I thought you guys were going to forget about that. No, I no totally way, dude. Here, hand him this one. I haven't marked where it was from before. And then we're going to, what we're going to do, Lou, is later for next week, I want you to put them back to back to see if there's a difference. I could do that. That's not where it was from. Okay. But where was right. it from? That's fine. It dish. was from, uh, dish? it was from, it was requires quite a qualification, but go ahead. Fine, dude. What should I do, guys? You know what, Jay? Read it from where he marked it off. You and Christine are fighting. I think you're upset because that girl that sent me the fake boob picture. <laughs> Christine just yelled at me that she fucking tried to fuck all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how I heard it. Ready? You know what sucks? Uh, this would all be a lot more fun for me if I also got drunk instead of being stone-ass sober. Well, turns out there more Jay. booze than anybody in me. Turns out you have a superpower. I tell Jay, I'm like, you do fuck my friends. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> she's just taking oh, Jesus shots. Christ, Christine. Don't turn on air anymore. <laughs> she's just going to the corner. She's just taking constant shots. And I'll tell you another thing. He has his... He drink. fucks him so hard. Uh, yeah. So much harder than he fucks me. Do it, Lou. Okay, here we go. Two-year... Start with... I start with two-year commitment. <laughs> Sorry, wait. This yeah. uh, doesn't make any sense the way I'm starting it right now. Just start wherever you feel like it. By the way, the, the new girl I'm dating is uh, bisexual, and I think she likes girls, so if we if we could all get Wait together. Wait a second, do you say she's bisexual and you think she likes girls? That's What's the, the other thing if it's yeah. not girls? It was uh, hard she's for, into dogs. <laughs> <laughs> she either sucks Red Rocket or she likes ladies. <laughs> it was hard for me to get out, uh, just like this read is. I gotta read the... Uh, <laughs> Wait, 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 slow down. You say if you want to get together. Are you asking if you can fuck Christine my bag your chip, Lou? <laughs> what kind of drunk are you? No, I'm giving her up to you guys like it's a it's gift. Too. What? I'm no, like, Lou, you, stop. You guys, no, I'll, stop. I'll leave the room. You guys can Lou, have her. Lou, Lou, interrupted, have take her. Lou interrupted his live read to give you his girlfriend. I'll take her. I'll take a look at her. At least take a look Lou, at her. Drunk, drunk Stu lives by Viking rules. What a good friend He's like, Stu is. Whatever you ask for, you shall receive Jay, as my friend. Jay, the sun has kissed half your head. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're chosen. I know you guys are into it. I don't even want to watch. I'm just going to close the door behind me. I'll Thanks, just, bro. I'll be in the kitchen having some vodka shots. Lou, can I thank you from the bottom of my heart? Thank you for giving us your girl. I love you guys. Much appreciated. Go Luke. ahead, read your thing. Uh, Two-year commitment to whatever we're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Early termination free and e-auto pay. Dish service for one TV included. <laughs> <laughs> Taxes and surcharges are extra. Offer ends October 27, 2006. No, what? <laughs> Other restrictions apply. 2000 when? Fuck you. Fuck you, John Fogel sang. This ain't your studio. It's ours. You <laughs> fucking cunt. It's Fugel sang, and you want to refer to that date again? You just called this out. You just called this out literally for a fucking 10 years ago. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Jay. 2006. Jay, <laughs> shit up. <laughs> shit up. Stu, I, uh, I better get that as a clip for this week. No. Shit up. Shut Jay, up. Jay, shit up. <laughs> um, what a fun one. Lou, start playing some Cypress Hill music for us. This has been a very we gotta fun get a, Jay is going to be at the Funny Boat in Virginia Beach Friday, October 21st through Sunday, October 23rd. And then next weekend, the weekend after that, October 27th through the 29th, you can catch him at the Stress Factory in New Jersey. So come on out, BigJComedy.com for tickets, where you can also get tickets for season two of What's Your Fucking Deal, NBC CISO. We're going to be taping it at the Bitter End in New York City, November 6th through November 10th. Go Again, BigJComedy.com for tickets. Uh, yeah, let's fill that up, man. We have 100 seats per show. We have eight show. Oh, no, sorry, 10 shows we're taping that week. 10 shows, two a night, Sunday, November 6th through Thursday, uh, November 10th. 
It's going to be an amazing time. Christine's been booking it. She's been booking her ass off. Her and Rebecca Trent, and they've been killing it. We have amazing shows coming. Um, also, Dan Soder's going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina at Good Nights tomorrow, Thursday, October 13th, and then at the Dead Crow Comedy Club, which is an amazing place. Go check them out there. Small, intimate setting. It's such a cool club in Wilmington, North Carolina, this Friday, October 14th, and Saturday, October 15th. Get your tickets at dansoder.com. And guys, don't forget, for the New York Comedy Festival, we're going to be doing a live broadcast of the bonfire uh, in front great. of a live audience at the Village Underground. Tuesday, November 1st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Get your tickets at nycomedyfestival.com. nycomedyfestival.com. It's going to be fucking so much fun, and we love you guys, and we want to see you out there. We'll get Lou Saki that oh, night, too. Oh, we'll get Lou so drunk. You'll see it in Christine, person. I'm going to go punch you in the pussy. Oh. Lou, you're going to puke into a bowl? Jen, please be a real person. Jen, please be real. We never got any more filth, did we? Oh, from other people. Great. We'll check those out, and we'll talk about them next week. Love you guys. It's the Bonfire. Crackle, crackle.